Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to apply Photoshop filters to any text layer without having to rasterize it first. You can download the project files for this video to see how everything was put together and have files to work from if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So here's our new document and I'm going to create some text here. I'm just going to say editable text and I'm going to resize that a bit. Now let's say I wanted to add some noise to this text. I would come up to filter, noise, add noise, but you'll see that Photoshop gives you a message saying that you can't apply the effect unless you rasterize your text first. So if I hit OK and then apply my effect, you'll notice that the effect gets applied but my layer is no longer a text layer so I can't go back in and change any of these words. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo that so we get our text layer back. And what I'm going to do is right click that in the layers palette and choose convert to smart object. Now if I go back up to filter, noise, add noise and hit OK, you'll see that my filter is now added as a smart filter rather than a regular filter. So I can't change my text directly in my main document, but if I double click my smart object, you'll see that I now have a single layer with the text that I originally created. So I'm going to highlight this and change the words. Now if I hit save and close that smart object, you'll see that the text has changed in my main document. But you'll also notice that it doesn't fit and it gets cut off at the edges. So I'm going to double click my smart object one more time, and then I'm going to press C to open the crop tool and just click on my text once. And what that's going to do is show me the edges of my text layer. So now all I have to do is click and drag the edges of my crop tool, and they'll snap right into place, and then I can just hit enter, save that and when I close it you'll see that it automatically resizes the canvas in our smart object. That way none of our text is cut off in the original document. Now I'm going to go up to filter, distort, ripple and apply a ripple effect. And if you look over here in the layers palette you'll see that I now have two smart filters applied. And I'm going to add one more filter by clicking filter, blur, motion blur and just give it a slight motion blur. So now if I come over to my layers palette, I can turn each of those filters on or off individually. And since I have them applied to a smart object and they've become smart filters, I can double click any of them and change the settings without having to start over from the beginning. You can also double click your smart object to open the layer style dialog and apply all kinds of effects. By combining smart filters, smart objects, and Photoshop's other tools, you can get some pretty cool effects without having to rasterize your text first. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.